Yes, how he became who he is okay. right now. Okay. Yes. Okay, Mr. Fuller, he wanted to know how did you become who you are. Oh, I, I don't know who I am. I mean, I'm trying to get an identity. I'd like to be a universal man. But right now, the only thing that I am is just a victim of white supremacy. I put that on the cover of the book. My book is entitled, the uh, comp supplementary title is, A Textbook Workbook for Thought, Speech, and Our Action for Victims of Racism. And Racism is White Supremacy. So that's who I am. I've never been anybody else. That's my standard identity. I don't have an identity other than that. I'm a prisoner of war. I was born in a prison called the planet Earth. And everybody of color is in that prison, in the system of white supremacy, according to what? According to all the evidence. I'm just going by the evidence. So I was born a prisoner of war. I'm a victim of white supremacy. And that's, that's my badge. That's, that's my title. I don't have a title other than that. And so I became that just by somebody doing it. Somebody deciding that they were going to start a thing called racism, and it turned out to be the strongest government in the world, and the only government in the world that's worthy of being called a government. All other so-called governments are just labels. So the system of white supremacy is the government of the world. And what is the system of white supremacy? It means that if you're classified as white, you're eligible to dominate and mistreat people who have been classified by the white supremacists as non-white. Dominate and mistreat. That's what it's about in all areas of activity. Economics, education, entertainment, labor, law, politics, religion, sex, and war. Now, if I am to have an identity, it is victims of that system and a person who slowly began to recognize that that was the dominant government. Now, a lot of people would disagree with that, but I say if you study the evidence, it's all around you. Pick out economics. The non-white people, in the use of their time and energy, are beholden to who? To white people, not all white people, but to the white people who believe in white supremacy. If they start talking about economics and start talking about the use of time and energy or the use of, definitely, the use of money, they have to answer to the white supremacists. The white supremacists determine the value of money. Why? They determine the value of people. See, once you get people under your thumb, whatever money those people have is your money. Why? Because the people are your people. You dominate them. You tell them what to do. So once you get mastery over people, you have mastery over everything that those people claim is theirs, which means those people are really now prisoners of yours. And I say we're prisoners of war because that's a form of war. Mm -hmm. When you take everything from somebody, uh, from a person, and everything that that person wants or needs, they have to come to you. Okay. So you're a prisoner, mm -hmm. and you're a slave. Okay. And so that's what I am. That's how I came to be that. Okay. I was that when I was born, because I was already in prison when I was born. The prison called the system of white supremacy. Oh.